Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Beginning Your Destiny. And I know this part is really late. Uh, my first attempt at recording it, like, I had problems or whatever, like, the duels that I recorded, all, like, really sped up and whatever. So, that. Then when I tried recording, then, the next day, family problems, my dad thought I was being too lazy or whatever. And so now I'm recording this. Um, <clears throat> but this won't go up until like the day after I've recorded it because it's already like really late at night and I'm not having my computer on all night just to upload this video because that would break because that what is what broke my last computer having it on every night. But whatever. In this part, we will be taking we will be finishing out off uh, Tanilla or whatever her name is. I'm moving on to two more Shadow Riders. We'll be. Uh, that's all we will really get. We'll, we'll move on to one other Shadow Rider, finish him off, and then this video will end with us taking on a second Shadow Rider. Um, but we'll finish him. He will get finished off in the next part. So, yeah. The other thing I thought was really interesting was my first attempt at recording all these. Um, the one that turned out shit and everything sped up or whatever. I found all these got all these Shadow Riders that I had dueled because I had dueled up until, like, you have if you if you you'll eventually notice this. Um, each of these duels will be a tag duel again, and you have to rescue somebody. Oh, um, the thing is though, uh, like I got up to where you had to rescue Crowler. Because you know, we're gonna rescue, you know, everyone from this island or whatever. You know, I found them. I found these Shadow Riders to be completely easy. I beat them all my first try when I first went after them. But then when I tried redueling them again, uh, the girl that you're seeing right now, whatever, Tanilla, you know, I did beat her easy. Um, I think she beat me like once or whatever. But then this next guy that you're gonna see here after this duel in a bit, um, I just kept losing to again and again and again and again. I, I I ended up you know going for like 30 minutes until I finally beat him. And it was just like, oh god. Then the guy after that I beat in the first try, so whatever. This just gets annoying when you have like 30 minutes of reduels and reduel and reduel and reduel. Ugh. Whatever. Let's see what else has been going on with me personally. Uh, I've been trying to watch a bunch of movies that, for whatever reason, throughout my life, I've never had a chance to watch them, whether it me just not being interested in them whenever I had the chance, interested in them whenever I had the chance, or just never really given a chance. Um, like recently I watched uh, Pulp Fiction, you know that movie that everyone quotes like a hundred times with Samuel L. Jackson's lines and hardly anyone else's lines. And even shows even shows today that aren't made to really parody a whole lot of different things. It's okay with me it is. Like Boondocks, you know, has an entire episode that just seems to be a big parody of that opening scene. I don't know the opening scene, but the Samuel L. Jackson scene from uh, Pulp Fiction. Or maybe that's an entire episode, but you know they do quote a lot of the, the lines from him. You know, say what again? Yeah. They speak English and what? See, see, the first time I heard that line was from the Boondocks. I didn't first hear that line from Pulp Fiction. I heard that line first from Boondocks. You know, where what's his face is talking to Riley, and Riley just keeps saying what, what. That's where I first heard the line. I didn't first hear it from Samuel L. Jackson. There. And then another movie I recently watched was uh, the first Indiana Jones movie. Uh, whatever it was. What was it? Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's it. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I've finally got a chance to watch that. The only previous Indiana Jones movie I'd seen was Crystal Skull, and 
in my opinion, Crystal Skull is completely underrated. You know, people look at it and criticize it for the dumbest of reasons. Um, for things that happened in previous movies, and the previous movies are allowed to get away with doing stu same stupid shit that was in Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull isn't allowed to get away with it. For whatever reason, I don't know. You know, Raiders of the Lost Ark wasn't bad, but the effects definitely do show their age. I, I was actually surprised I found out, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark was actually re-released into IMAX theaters last year. That's the problem with living around where I live. None of the theaters around where I live have an IMAX. The only IMAX theater I believe around where I live is at the uh, Science Center. And I don't think they play, you know, actual fun to watch movies there. I think they only play lear learning movies. You know, like, what happens during a baby's growth cycle? That, that, that's not like my only experience without an IMAX screen was some learning thing about babies because it was like a school field trip and you know and I remember after the field trip everyone was like did you see the little baby's penis okay whatever you, you it's just how kids are you know snicker did you see the baby's penis did you look at the baby's penis Because for some reason, every baby in that thing was naked. I don't know why every single baby was naked. They felt the need to make every baby naked, though. Whatever. Uh, the next movie I'm planning to watch, that I've never watched before, is, uh... What was it called? It's another Tarantino movie. I forget what it's called, though. It's like, um... Oh, I forgot what it's called. It has something to do, from what I hear, it's like about werewolves and shit. Um. Fuck. I don't even know what my list is of movies. I don't even know. somewhere, and I don't feel like looking for them. Almost are like within arms of each. Whatever. I don't know, some Tarantino movie about werewolves, or at least from what I hear, it's about werewolves. Um, and the movie had like several sequels, I thought was interesting. Because uh, when I went to the place where I rent movies, they had, you know, the second one and the third one. And I, I, I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, seeing that it had sequels and shit. And, well, it's not weird that a movie has sequels. But from what I hear, it just didn't sound like the kind of movie I'd expect to have a sequel. And then the next movie after that, should be the Godfather. Uh, next movie after that should be the Godfather. I already have my TV set to record the Godfather, so I can finally watch that. So everyone, I hear, I do hear a lot of good stuff about the Godfather. I don't really hear a whole lot of people talk smack about the Godfather. Whatever. Back to this game. One card that I hate more than anything. Just the one card that I hate more than any other card in existence is um is Snatch Steel. Snatch Steel is just the biggest troll card in existence. It's like, oh look, you got a really powerful monster. Why don't I take that? Oh, and you know, I'll make you believe that I'm being nice. And I'll give you like a, I'll let you have like a thousand life points each turn. Oh, but that was the only monster you had in your side of the field. So you're completely open to all my monsters that have like over two thousand attack. Yeah. yeah, fuck you. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Let me think here. Um, what else is going on? Let's see here. Um, I 
I hear a lot about the let's see, a lot of shows I did recently, I know that, like Dexter, Breaking Bad, uh, may surprise a lot of you, it actually wouldn't surprise any of you, I bet, that I never did, I watched like one episode of Dexter, like a long ass time ago, with my, my sister, I was staying at my nephew's house, well it's my sister's house technically, because I wanted to hang out with my nephew, and my sister came in and decided to pop, turn on Dexter, and that was like the only episode of it I ever watched, not because I didn't like it, just because I never bothered to watch it again. Um, and then the other show that I did was Breaking Bad, and I've never seen a single episode of Breaking Bad. My dad's wanting to get into it. Uh, I know it just ended soon, but I could guarantee that, you know, ANC or whatever channel it's on, you know, will probably keep playing the show afterwards. You know, not, not like new episodes, but, you know, like how Comedy Central is still playing Futurama. You know, just like repeats. Yeah. <laughs> see, I also watched, let's see, I've been continuing watching more anime movies. Anime movies or anime like OVAs or specials or any of that. Like I watched uh, Detective Conan, The Case of the Big Wall and Black Lab or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Something like that. Um... And that was kind of interesting. The ending was kind of an interest was you know kind of an interesting reveal because YouTube didn't have any of the movies on it except for like one or two of them. But the one or two that I found were in Japanese, but they didn't have the English subtitles. I, I managed to be able to sit through that Detective Conan special, you know, that wasn't Japanese, but it had to ha but it had English subtitles. The ones I the movies I found had like. Spanish subtitles or Portuguese subtitles or whatever. Okay. Then I got around to watching uh, Bleach Hellverse. You know, that wasn't that bad. You know, um, I was a bit disappointed because there was one thing I really I was really expecting to see in it. Uh, I was expecting to think see something like uh, the King of Hell, like, you know, Bleach's version of Satan, I guess you could say. You know, like how the Soul Society and the Rukon District is ruled over, like the Rukon District is ruled over Soul Reapers, and Soul Reapers are ruled over um, by the head captain, head captain Yamamoto. So I wanted to see who rules over Hell. We got to see all the guards of Hell, whatever they were called, I forgot. But we didn't get to see like who really is in control of this place. You know, where's Bleach's version of Satan? I was really wanting to see that. I think there was a uh, filler episode that almost kind of advertised Hellverse, I would think, because the uh, one of the bad guys in Hellverse, I remember seeing in a filler episode of Bleach, where like some of the or some of the uh, Arankars or whatever went to Hell, and you saw them try to fight their way out. But they failed at it, and the guy they were fighting against was one of the villains in Hellverse. At least it looked like him. I'm not sure. So yeah, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I think I like you know I also kind of like that like the first like it tried to you know uh, should try to recreate some moments in, like uh, season one like it tried to recreate that first moment in the first episode where Ichigo's like beating the shit out of some guys because they knocked over a plant. But it just didn't seem as awesome as it did in the first episode. Whatever. No, whatever. Mm. Whew. Next thing I will watch. I'm not sure what the next anime movie will be. But I watch one every night. So I go to sleep is watching one of these. But I'm not sure what the next one I'll watch is. Probably a Yu-Gi-Oh one. Maybe uh Maybe the first Yu-Gi-Oh movie, the Yu-Gi-Oh Season Zero movie. I don't know. It depends on if I can find one on YouTube that has English subtitles. 
you know, enough Portuguese or Spanish subtitles like I've been finding with everything.